This is the new era from printing. Uh, many of you may have never heard of this printer, but it is supposed to be one of the best. Okay guys, we're back and we're going to open it up. This is our first impression here. We've never seen this before. So it comes in this big giant piece of plastic here. Just gonna peel that back. This is exactly how it came to the house. There was no other packaging included. Slice open the top. And then, as expected, there's going to be a lot of foam in here, so we're going to take this foam out. And we're just going to lift it out. Set the box to the side. Generally these bags are pretty sturdy so you can just lift it out by the bag. We have the driver disc on top to install. Not many people have optical drives anymore so there will be a download for this. Your installation manual basically tells you what came in the box. This is super nice because it does have NFC which is the near field communications. Um, so we are able to use NFC with our phones with this. It also has a lot of other cool features. Get it. Get this out of the way. Tape to hold everything together, all the doors down, um, to keep the tray in on the front as well. I'm just going to peel this tape off. There's just this foam padding inside of there to protect it as well. And then if we flip it around so you can see the back. It is Wi-Fi certified. P1 port down here, which is just your basic printer port. And then we also have an Ethernet uh, port on this which is pretty nice up here there is two different lines for phone jacks which don't come with this specific one so they do just have the plastic here probably for other models they would have these knocked out to where you can uh, attach a fax machine and then we have our our power port here to plug in our power cable also in the box we have our LP1 cable this is a basic printer cable here but it goes to USB-A so we're either going to have to adapt that for this because this only has USB-C ports or we're going to have to get a USB-C uh, to LP1, which is just a printer cable. And we also have the power cable, cable here, which just plugs into the back port here down in here. So we're going to plug this in, we're going to get it set up on the desk, and then after we do that, we're going to turn on the computer and show you how to get it set up on there. iMac like this is really nice because you only have the power cable going in the back. All the other ports are handled down there by the box. So we have four Thunderbolt ports here, USB-C. We can just go into, or there's two Thunderbolts and two USB-C, but we're just going to go to a regular USB-C. We don't need Thunderbolt high transfer rate for this. So we're going to go in right there. And then I'm going to log in real fast. Set this back. I'm going to get the mat there. We'll have to organize that later. So real simple here, we have the we have the start button, cancel button, uh, receipt copy. You have an ID copy. You can turn the Wi-Fi on here. You can scan from it. And then just, of course, your regular copy. So that's pretty neat. If you have receipts from the store and things, you can copy them with this as well. 
which is nice. Power button's right here on the front. Blends in pretty good, but you can see the smiley power button face. So we're going to turn that on. It just comes up with Phantom. This is a uh, liquid crystal display screen, so nothing too fancy, but it gets the uh, job done. Okay, guys, we're back, and after a little bit of an investigation, we found that you have to open the tray door. There is a little bit of packing material inside of here, so you have to get rid of that. You have to slide the entire toner cartridge out because they packaged it with this cardboard face and this protective film here. And so as you, you can see, it tells you to pull this out. We're going to pull that out. And what that's going to do is just keep the powder from inside the laser jet from leaking all over the place. So it does make sense. We're going to pull both of these tabs. We're going to get this out of here like that. There's our roller. And then this sits back down inside. Like that. A little bit like a puzzle, but it, it does fit in the slots pretty well here. So you just got to drop it down in there. Then you can see where the computer chip reads here, the rollers underneath. So I'm just going to clean this little bit of toner off of there. It does get some toner on me because when it came out, it kind of fell out, which if you shake these, they're going to get toner on you. We're just going to slide the tray back in. It's going to drop down just like that and shut the door. At this point, it should work. Once we put paper inside of there, it asks if we want to reset the paper, so we do have to do that. Once we get the paper installed, everything should be good to go with the printer part, portion of it. Okay, guys. In order to get the paper to line up in the tray properly, you have to push in this blue tab here. So you have to push in that blue tab, adjust the tray in order to get it to fit to the letter paper size. Once you have it fitted properly to L1, which you can see here on the side. It's marked on the side. You can see the L1 here. Once it's marked inside of there, then you're able to insert your paper. It does not come like this out of the box. You have to make this adjustment. You can push in on the tabs, push in on this bottom tab, and once everything fits, then the tray will slide in properly. So we're going to open pages here. Uh, first and foremost, we are running the newest version of Max Big Sur. So that being said, the printer driver, the printer will probably be recognized by the operating system here. Uh, but we are going to double check that. So we're going to go to settings and the system preferences. We're going to go to printers and scanners. And it shows up there. We can see that the Pantom's installed <coughs> and an idle. And then we can see that our old printer is here and it's offline. So we should be good. We don't have to do anything with that at this point. We just open a new document here in Pages, blank document. We're going to type in, hi, how are you? And we're going to print a test page. So we're just going to go to File, and we're going to go to Print. Or you can hit Command-P. It does have a two-sided option here. You can uncheck that if you do not wish to print on both sides. And we just hit Print. We can see the queue down in the corner on our printer showing that there is a job down there. The light does start flashing on the printer and it does say printing on the LCD. And print and everything should work. But if you guys decide to buy this printer, be well aware that by default this thing is not set up to print regular letter paper, which is absolutely ridiculous. So there we have it. It printed. It looks okay. There doesn't seem to be any issues with the toner. It's not smudging. So that means the imaging unit's working and the toner is working okay at this point. Okay, guys, a few things to note here. If we go to Pantom's website, we can see the driver support here. One bad thing about that, uh, when we type in the type of printer that we have into the driver support search bar, it does come back with an error that says basically um, they can't find it. So I'm not sure if that's just a caveat at the website at the time, but you guys should be aware of that. 
So if you do not have a CD tray or your computer is not updated either in Windows or Mac, it may be a little difficult to get the driver as well. Alright, and as promised, we're going to go over the tech specs for this printer. Uh, Multifunction 3-in-1. It does printing, copying, scanning, and it is a laser printer. So you don't have to worry about the ink drying up, and that's one of the main reasons we purchased this one. It has fast and high definition printing. It does do that. It prints up to about 33 pages per minute in black and white. And it supports multiple media sizes. Um, it does have scan with the max scan size at 216 by 356 millimeters. It'll scan an email, your PC, or your USB drive. It says easy one-step installation. However, I don't believe in that based off of the video that you guys just seen. Um, it does have the ability to connect a USB 2.0 network and Wi-Fi. So you do have that option. It does have a separate drum and toner with a storage capacity of about 12,000 pages. One year warranty from the date of purchase. And this thing will run you today about $179.99. Um, you save about 20 bucks right now on their website with the coupon. Normally it's about $199.99. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing on a test run for about a week. We'll come back and update you guys, let you know how it's doing. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it. If you like, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.